Tune in to Basement Talk. I'm your host, Riz the King. <laughs> G-Ray, coming out of St. Louis. Get my phone, it's an argument about <laughs> pride. Man, I'm telling you, so this is real life for me. Right, but what really hurt me to my core is he said my friend. Yeah. Man, get the get out of my face. So hold up, man. hold up, Just hold up, hold up. Hey, we right in the middle of this, this Drake verse push a T. We talked about it earlier when the songs came out. We got our opinions about who we thought won the brass back then. But recently, some more stuff in the surface. Uh, your boy Drake went and went on LeBron's show and talked about his side of what happened and whatnot. The shot. Pusha T responded to this. So, like, we got a lot of strong opinions about what's going on with Drake and why he's so weak. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all think Drake weak right now. Yeah. Is, that, is, yeah. that, is, that, is that fair to say? Yeah. He's an entertainer. Yeah. Never wears apps. He's not a rapper. I mean, he's an entertainer, right? He's a, oh, he's a damn good entertainer. He's a good entertainer. But, listen. But, but pertaining to the beef particularly, he was on the show trying to alibi to why I put this song out. I, I did this song, but then I changed my mind didn't put it out because I didn't want him to get, I didn't want to hurt him deeper. Or what, I don't know what he was talking about, man. What was he talking about? Well, I'm going to take it to excuses. you. I'm going to take it to you like this. And, and, he, and he made that song, Excuses. And, and I play that song a lot. With Diddy? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. I'm going to listen to it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna That's it. Cool. Here's the thing, right? We talking about rap beef. And I, I don't think that, that's, that, that this is what that is, right? I mean, I grew up um, with the Big and Tupac issues right mm -hmm. and, and I mean back then you know the, the songs were they were just I mean it, they hit hard and you mm -hmm. knew exactly what people were talking about you know and nobody shied away from it and it was mm -hmm. coming for you mm -hmm. it was coming for you right I mean it, it was just what it was I mean you know we talking about man let's take it back to Dr. Dre and, and Easy e mm -hmm. I mean Dre I mean, come on man like what Personal it, shots. Yeah, it, it, you was going it. like he was, in the know, video. Yeah, he was, he looked like in the video. You know, people knew each other, and you know they had personal relationships with each other mm -hmm. at one point. And w a lot of what happens with with fame and yeah. uh, stuff you know, sour stuff yeah, goes and wrong. And go, but you but you you know this about that person. You, you put it out there. But in this in this instance, I just don't look at it like no 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 rap beef. Right? I see. I think it was supposed to be a rap beef. It what? started off like a rap beef. I do too. Pussy came and hit him so hard mm -hmm. that Drake had a decision to make. Drake was like, shit. Mm -hmm. If I come back, he may keep coming back. Mm -hmm. And he said on the shot, I didn't want to keep giving him fame or keep his career going. But like, no. Basically what it was, you were scared that if you come back, he had way more for you. And you know what? One more thing I'd like to add to that. Push... Not, I'm not even going to go to Pusha because Pusha to me is the clear-cut winner. I want to talk more about Drake like you would. Yeah. Why was it Drake was so comfortable battling uh, Meek Mill? Because he felt confident in that battle. Yeah, he did. And he felt, after Meek Mill's response, he right. felt confident with coming back. It's like the... Well, he had like, to come back at the, at the response. At, but he made, how many responses? He made two responses, though, right? No, he, One was super weak. No, he did two back-to-back -back before Meek even did anything. Right. Yeah. But he felt confident in battling Meek because yeah. he felt he was superior to Meek. It's almost like the bully on the playground. But he knew I'm going, him too. I, he knew him too. Yeah. I'm going to bully you because I feel like I'm better than you. I can be. If, if, I play basketball. So if I feel like I can take you on the court, I'm going to talk crazy to you. Right. But that cat that's better than me, I'm not going to. And he win the first time, I'm not going to keep playing him over and over again if I know he's going to keep beating me unless I'm really about that. Right. He respects Pusha T. That's what don't nobody want to say. No, he respects. He said it himself. He respects the shit out of yeah. Pusha T. And yeah, Pusha T him. was bringing it to him in a real way, in a way that he knew he probably was not going to win. So now that's we get really off. That's all that's it all was. All he, he, he knew he wasn't going to win. I would rather you take the L and say, you know what? I gotta give him that. He, yeah. he, he, I'll respond. Just I'll say respond, and, it, and, it, and, it and then let it go. Right, right. It's over with at that point. Nah, but he wanted he wanted to go he on HBO go the whole show. Route. And get people to feel like, oh, that's why he didn't respond. Let me have sympathy yeah, for him yeah. because really. Let me he, tell you why I didn't respond. His friend is we, sick right. and his baby, and he that's was just show. trying to be a good father the whole time. Right. Don't give me these whole Don't ass excuses. And then say, like, what I'm talking about in my rap went too far. 
Right. It, it don't matter. I know the history of rap battles, no, but don't. I feel like this is just this too, is, this is I, too If far. I said this He's about talking his about girlfriend, my sick friend. Like what? Right. No, man, he talking about your friend. You supposed to come back again if you go if you about it. Dude, the more he, he talks, the weaker it. he comes off, man. He, he did not want it. And that's a thin, that's a veiled shot and just trying to get a little bit of Drake has a fan base that is strong. That oh, no, yeah, yeah. And only the only fan base that rivals Drake's is Beyonce. Man, he got, man, he got uh Drake high. Right. That, Drake that's the high. only Drake fan high. base that rivals his. Cardi B got a strong fan base now. She got she, she, she <laughs> come up. But, <laughs> people, but these chicks and these dudes <laughs> out here in this new love Drake. See, see, we all come from a different era of hip hop where this type of behavior <laughs> is whole behavior. But so you, you you can do that now when you got Instagram. Mm -hmm. When you got uh, the, the ability to, to, to uh, drop a, a a happy song and get everybody dancing, you can promote right. yourself People without singing. About it. You can right. promote yourself without rapping. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to be a rapper. Nope. No, you ain't gotta be a rapper. And then on top of not being a rapper, you could be gangsta on Tuesday, shoot them up, bang bang in my Jamaican voice. I'm a whole different person. And then you could be Love Man Jones on yeah. Thursday. And you could go back and forth and back and forth. And uh, you know what? I can't hate on them because that's the game. But, it, and, no, and, and, it, that is the and, game nowadays. Smart. It works for him. There, there is nothing wrong with getting your money. Nothing at all. You understand? Nah, nothing history, at all. History is proven. History is proven that being gangster is probably not the easiest route to take. Right? No, it's not. Because, no. because it's at, not. The, at the end of the day, we sit back and we look at what we grow with. Most of our rappers... They're they not doing so well, right? We, I mean, look, you, you talking well, about... Well, it's a different era. We yeah, talking yeah. about... You talking about th yeah. Think about the people that follow Jay-Z, right? Think about state property. You know, think yeah. about... Think yeah. about yeah. Um, yeah. All the real thugs gone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean it's, it's hard to play. Yeah. You can't and they play have real, right. They got real problems now. You know what I'm saying? So, the real thugs so, so at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, shit, look, I'm... You're going to have to pretend. I'm going go, I'm to go... Do what I need to do to be successful. But right. but see, so we gotta ask that question too. Was that smart on his part to not go back? Cause think about remember when Jairo and Fifty Cent got into it. Mm -hmm. Jairo tried to be gangster. Mm -hmm. It didn't work, and then he fell completely off. But that's cause Fifty pulled him into, into it a was. ram that he. You know what I'm saying? Answer, that won his run. To answer your question, it was. It smart. was smart for Drake. It was smart it was for Drake smart. to not say nothing. Yeah. But I would rather you be a damn man and say. I didn't want to come back. I got better things to do with my time. I responded. It's over. Yeah. I'd rather you be that type of dude. But then don't come. I don't, don't want to say this. Don't be the weak excuse, man. But, but, and you got to name me. This is the weakest thing that I heard. The weakest. The weakest thing I heard. I really had a lot of heat coming for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I chose well, not to. Well, man, he, he said <laughs> the stuff I was going to say was so was so filthy. I couldn't live with myself if I would have said some so of those things. Did. Also responded back. To Drake when he went on the shop, mm -hmm. Pussy came back and said, "Hey, actually, you think it's Kanye that leaked all the information to me? It really wasn't. It was your boy Forty talking to some girl that I Hello, know, Tom. and then that girl came and told me, and that's where I got the information from. Right. Right. So is that like, was that real which, or no, was it strategic? Which that oh, you think that really happened? To me, that further hurts Drake's point of view. There was an audio. Oh, I had an audio. He had an audio of not only he had his, a barber." That used to be his DJ that was like, yeah, nigga, we tell you anything about Drake, we need. So it's already been leaked that out further that hurts. he got stuck. That further hurts yeah, Drake. So yeah, so that's the information that's the... Yeah, yeah. That further that's hurts true. Drake. That means that Drake is just trying to control the narrative. That whole the shop interview, hey, talk no, no. about it. So that was after. So Drake came with this, and then and Pusha then T came Pusha back. Came so how stuff. smart is Pusha T? Because it's chess move. So then, uh, well, yeah. he, he, but Pusha T already told us in uh, prior interviews that he's holding on to stuff because he want response. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. think people recognize that. No, that this no. is one of his because nobody's listening to Pusha T. Exactly, and if people are still gonna listen to this, and this is gonna be what it is. And think about this. Not to switch it up too much, but he did this on somebody's show who was the king of controlling the narrative. Exactly! What well, LeBron, the pilot, <laughs> hey bro, you need to come on here, right. you need to get your story out here. This right. is going to supersede any And you're right there. about that, he's the king the of king it. king of it. I just lost narrative. this series, but let me wear this bracelet. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> like, they didn't say it all Because my, my hand is hurt, and but, I just want y'all to but see. But Pusha is doing it right. On the fact that, hold up, bro. Nah, nah, nah. And let's throw Kanye on the bus. This is what really happened. It's funny he got, but we talking about, we talking about an HBO series as opposed to a, what, what was, what was, uh, Push Team? Well, she was on, uh, Joe, Joe Budden radio show. Yeah. So, 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 nah, at, at, yeah, at the end of the day, when it come down to it, man, um, Drake, Drake is hitting more people. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, for sure. He, mm -hmm. he Joe Budden got 100,000 listeners. He, this yeah. HBO show had millions of listeners. Right. That's why he, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's, 
that's what can't be Easy. underrated here. The intelligence of the people who are delivering the mm. message. LeBron James has a well, LeBron James is probably not even the most recognizable athlete. He might be one of the most recognizable people in the world. Humans. So if you get <laughs> two of the most recognizable people in the world on any type of setting, show, podcast, anything, yeah. more people are going to see. For sure. And so Drake is not dumb. He know he has to answer for what happened this past summer. He like he just said in the thing himself. This is gonna be a chink in my armor for the rest of forever. Why would he think that? He knows he knows he, he, knows he lost this battle. Right. So he has but he to, knows it's only a chink though. It's only a chink. That's what I was saying. So he has to give people, level, you know, he right, gotta exactly. give people a reason. Right. What happened? Right. What's yeah. the reason you went out so weak Man, and you I ain't mean, and that's the that's the part that I just don't agree with. But I Everything else, to your point, Roz, is very intelligent, done, very smooth, and very, very to the nice. point. He got a reason for everything. Everything. Like uh, he's he's real manip. He he controls the net. Those might be the two best guys that control the narrative in the but, world. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the that, that's the point. And Trump. I'm gonna say this right. Like you do have a you got that that entertainer's life, and you, then you got that real life, right? You know, and and honestly, I know myself personally, I'm. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I mean, people you ain't don't, the only one. Yeah. But but so, you know. But at the end of the day, I don't want anything to affect my family and all the type of stuff like that. So, it, you got to get to a point where you're strategic. Now, can I even put myself, my thought process, in the hell? He, I, I can't at all. I can't. I, well, and, well, and and I, but, but, but you know, I'm not trying to be, build my base off of being a gangster rapper. Right, either. right. You know, I, that's too. That's what I was going to get you He signed up. Though. For this, not what he's rap, a, no, no, yes, he did because he makes certain songs that 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 put forth a certain image. He don't do it consistently, yeah, but if man. you don't think get, Drake is out here rapping gangster on some songs, he is. But if you get eighty five percent of his songs are pretty, are pretty, pretty soft songs. Eighty five percent. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. But that other fifteen percent, you can't. That's that's more material for cats like Pusha T to be like, oh, okay, you was talking like this at some point in time. But it's a difference between what you said. Right. He signed up for this. He joined this game. He ran with Cash Money and Wayne. And Wayne is serious about his lyrics. He, he didn't die off in his older age, but at, at a time, Wayne was on top of this game. Right. But to your point that a lot of these thugs and gangsters have died off. Remember, at one point, 50 was also a real heavy hitter in this industry. Yes. Well, 50 was doing the same stuff that Drake was doing. He was r and b it out. r and b and he was gangster stuff. gangster stuff. Right. But it's hard it, to keep it, that title as number one gangster listen, for, for years and years us, and years. Us is me. Us is with more gangster than Drake all day. Yeah, all day. yeah, I mean, of course, but he lived it. He, right. His yeah. brother got shot nine times. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Drake is uh, Degrassi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you talking about getting shot nine times, making love nine times. Right. Two it, don't, it don't make man, yeah, it, it don't add up. Here, here. Kiki, do you love me? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not. That's a real Cause soul. Because you, you ask her to ask, do right. she love you? Obviously, she just tell you she love your ass. <laughs> but, but we... I, I digress. She's still <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, you know what I'm saying? It, hey, that's it, stupid. I'm sorry. I got to go back to that. Drake is actually begging a woman to tell her that she loves him on the song. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, we, can laugh, we can laugh at that as yeah, men, yeah, but yeah. the women love this. Yeah, that. They, they love when it. he dropped Scorpion, I didn't think Scorpion was that great of an album. I thought it was cool. I, I really did. I thought Pusha T's album was better. You know what? But women ate that shit up, and he's fifth Odell Beckham loving the album. And the people, he got a whole nation and a whole world doing a dance challenge. He ain't started up. I'm about to go on my rant. I'm about to say, all y'all sorry ass is the reason why <laughs> these women are falling in love with, with songs. I, no, because they fall in love with songs. Hold on, hold on. That's never been, that, that's been the case since the beginning of the time. Yeah. No, 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 never, no, no, never that, right? Because when Why they when, when, when Teddy Pendergrass said turn off the lights mm -hmm. and light a candle, somebody was turning off the damn lights and lighting the damn candle. So, 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 ladies wasn't, so the ladies wasn't in love when LL Cool J said, I need love. Listen, I get all that, right? But but think about what it looks like today, right? We sitting up here, we talking about, we talking about Drake and we talking about Pusha T. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we talking about, like, there is no beef there. Like they, they, they probably don't really even know each other. We back in the day, we took all the rap beefs. They really knew each other. Yeah, it, was, it was really, it was really a problem there. Like yeah. if you really got a problem with somebody, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say and tell you, just me personally. 
you know, if I, if, 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 well, if I got a problem with you, I'm, I probably can't be focused enough to put that on wax. Because I'm already thinking, like, you know, nah. you, you just said something about my it's wife. A, I mean, it's a certain kids, amount of business. They well, beef is yeah, definitely it's rap business. beef. It's rap beef. It's it rap, is not exactly. real life beef. It's at lucrative all. rap beef. It's definitely rap that, beef. That's why you know, it's and, part of it. And this is, this is a moneymaker, right? I mean, it, it, they wouldn't it, be it doing it. money for both of them. Well, yeah. it, well, yeah. it made money for both of them. That's what they're doing this for, man. I mean, that's I what they do. To it, a certain it, extent, yeah. You know, but it, it's, it's pride. I think, it's got pride. But I think it's it's still rap pride, too. Oh, of course, man. Me you know got saying? pride. It's still it's rap, rap pride, pride, too. Like, like Pusha T feel like I am better at rapping than you, Drake. Right. And Drake may feel like he better than Pusha T. And right. I'm a more solid man than you. I'm but more you, but, solid in this game. And as a that's what Pusha T questioned him on. And he was really hitting him hard. But you, but you know, it's a very small fan base that's looking at that. Because yeah, that's everybody true. else... That's they not looking at the majority they of the world. About, they care less about it. It's like being on YouTube. If you argue with somebody, well, man, Pusha T really eat, eating them on this song. Drake got way more sales than uh, Pusha T. Yeah, right? what what you you that's about? what it comes down to. That, that's that's exactly. Listen, because I tell you what, I tell you what, Pusha T ain't gonna never come out with no key key. And he's never, right? gonna, he's never gonna sell the amount of records that Drake does. Nah, exactly. So 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 at that point, we talking about a different competition. At, at that point, you gotta you gotta start putting everything in perspective. Well, the rap purists know what Pusha T did to Drake, but it, that's not commercial. The commercial people way they outweigh the people like us who who know the history of this game. Well, the difference is the people that's commercial are who actually run it. Exactly. They're the ones who pay for the. But like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. buy no Drake album. I didn't so you, you know what I'm saying? The people that keep him rich are the people he got catered to. You can walk in the you can walk in the studio and you can give out. Hey, good, great songs, great grinding songs, right? And then somebody else can walk in the studio and they can give out these songs that they know that these people go buy. Who, who go, who go, they gonna who sell gonna more, push, right? So, yeah, course, sorry, so, the, so the competition yeah, level, is, the competition level is different. But, but that's why I want to, I really want to get to a point to where when we start talking about these beefs that we have, it, it, it's not like I think the last. Well, I'm not gonna say the last big beef in, in my life. The the one that hurt me the most was Biggie and Pop because we lost two people, right? Like two great individuals, mm -hmm. and at that point they were both at the top. Well, that one went too far. But since then, what they taught the game is, and that's that's I think this keys into your point. Ever since Biggie and Pop, people had to take a, a step back and say it's not worth your life. Yeah, of course. Uh, Let's just make it we want, rap. We wanted to just be on wax, and we wanted to be rugged, and we wanted to always we wanted to be wordplay. But we gonna not we're not gonna let it get to that point yeah. again. No, like, no but, matter what I say on this record, and, I, I'm not right. Exactly. I'm not gonna do it. That's why Nas and the Jay Z who yeah. went at each other after Biggie and Pop, they went at each other. They did. But they also and they, that mended them fences. That was bad they mended them fences. They are cool now. That was Jay bad. don't but, say uh, nothing about Nas. Nas don't. Say Ain't nothing about Jake. And I'm gonna say, I love Jake. Drake versus T, man. I ain't heard enough from you, Drake fans, man. I need y'all to come defend your boy, man. We all think it's weak. What y'all think about Drake, man? Let's let's hear this. Look, I love his album, though. <laughs> <laughs>